Joe Sokochoff with Junior Resource Media. Today we feature a company with a near-term production project located in northern British Columbia, Canada. Pacific Booker trades on the Toronto Venture Exchange under the symbol BKM and also on the New York Stock Exchange MKT under the symbol PBM. Pacific Booker is in the advanced stage of development of the Morrison Porphyry Copper Gold Molybdenum Deposit. PBM has completed a feasibility study and is proposing an open pit mining and milling operation for the production of copper gold molybdenum concentrate from the Morrison deposit. The Morrison Copper Gold project is located 35 kilometers north of the former Bell and Grand Isle copper gold mines. The Grand Isle mine produced 214,000 metric tons of copper and just under 7,000 kilograms of gold and approximately 70,000 kilograms of silver from 52.7 million metric tons of ore averaging 0.47% copper. The Bell Mine produced 303,000 metric tons of copper and nearly 13,000 kilograms of gold and 27,000 kilograms of silver from 77.2 million metric tons of ore averaging 0.47% copper. PBM's land position consists of 45 contiguous claims totaling 12,000 hectares. This ground position includes the Hearn Hill property and the Morrison property. A total of 96 exploration drill holes totaling 26,200 meters of drilling were carried out on the Morrison property. Drilling generated an estimated measured and indicated resource of 206.9 million tons, averaging 0.39% copper and 0.2 grams per ton gold. A 2009 feasibility study by Wardrop Engineering calculated a total mineable reserve classified as proven and probable to be 224 million tons with an average grade of 0.33% copper and 0.16 grams per ton gold. The project has a projected mine life of 21 years with a milling rate of 30,000 tons per day. Pre-production capital cost is estimated to be $516.7 million Canadian and the average operating cost is estimated to be $8.15 per ton milled. A pre-tax economic model has an IRR of 20.05% and an NPV of $495.9 million Canadian at an 8% discount rate for the 21-year mine life. The payback of the initial capital is within 4.2 years. Silver was not included in the financial analysis. However, there is an opportunity for improved economic performance if silver credits are received from the treatment and refining of the copper concentrate. Metallurgical test work to date has reported silver present in the concentrate ranging from 65.3 grams per ton to 100 grams per ton. PBM has also completed an environmental assessment and is waiting for a decision on their environmental assessment certificate. With two nearby former producing mines, the project has the advantage of existing regional infrastructure to service the region, including a road network, nearby hydroelectric power, and a full service town with daily commuting distance from the project site. Power from BC Hydro will be delivered to the Morrison Mine site via an existing and new transmission lines. PBM plans to extend the existing 25 kilovolt energized line from the Bell Mine site. PBM intends to construct a new power transmission line and a temporary substation early in the pre-production period to make this 25 kilovolt power available during construction. With a further upgrade at the Babine substation, 138 kilovolts will be available for the Morrison mine operation. Pacific Booker has 12.4 million shares outstanding and recently traded at $3.84 and has a market capitalization of $47.6 million. Pacific Booker has no debt outstanding. I'm George Sokochoff with Junior Resource Media. <laughs>